Hello guys, this is Avcor and I want to talk about the news news update when it comes to the monogrind. And we're looking at this and the rewards for let's go here to yeah, enhancement quest. Synthesis is more important than one would think. I'm not gonna go into a video about materia. But I am going into a video about you farming for the resources for Materia because I think that's important. You're going to see a lot of videos about Materia, what they do, what they offer, and that's, and that's important. And you should look at those videos. But I'm here to support those videos with the information I have concerning this. And the thing I want to say is you need to farm this. You need to take advantage of these six days. There's other things that you would like to farm. But for right now, this is a very great place to farm. And I'll show you some of the stuff I got. I'm, I'm at like 654 void ore. And I had zero at the beginning of this. I'm at like 332 and I almost had literally nothing. I'm telling you the truth. I literally had nothing. 156, I literally had nothing of that. And I literally had nothing of the frost crystal. But here are some pointers that you need to take. When you're farming for any type of crystal, you don't you want to hit the 10 bin on everything. Say for instance, like you're at 25, you need to farm to get to 30. Or if you're at 45, you need to farm to get to 50. Because the thing about it is it's it costs 10 of these crystals to take thunder from Thundara or water from Silver Targa. So you're gonna have to like look at this and say can i squeeze a little bit more out of it and you should and of course when you look at ice five or lightning you need to hit the you need to hit the maximum that you can why is that because you get everything when you look at the rewards you literally get everything and the thing about this is people need to look at the rankings of what you should do. Like for me, I always get S rank. So I don't worry about it. But if you cannot get S rank, if you cannot get S rank, then move down to Lightning 4 or Lightning 3 so you can get S rank. Because the thing about the rewards on S rank is you get everything in a high quantity. And to maximize your farming, you want to hit S. You do not want to go lower than S. I think it's a waste of resources if you go lower than S. Why is that? Because you're trying to farm, farm, farm. And even if you do Lightning 4, you're still going to get the same amount of rewards. But you're just going to get a little bit more. Because you really get punished. If you don't hit S rate, you kind of get punished. You really get punished a lot. Like, it seems like it's the same thing, but it's not. You get punished a lot. You get punished a lot because you're adding up as you go up, so to speak. So that's why I like... Okay, let's start at F, E, D, C, B, A, S. So with Void Crystals, like, if you hit S rank, you'll get around 6 or 7. But if you drop... If you drop to A, you're only getting at most 4 or 5. If you drop to B, 3 or 2. If you drop to C, 2 or 1. And if you're at D, E, you may not get one. You may not get any of them. So my advice is if you cannot hit S, then you just drop down to Lightning 4 or Lightning 3. There's no shame in it. You're trying to build power. This is the whole point of this video is to show you how to farm properly in order to build power. So don't feel bad that you can't do Lightning 5. That's okay. Your goal is to build your character so you can do it. So you can take advantage of this. Because this is a really good deal. I look at when or I had literally none. I had literally none. And the reason why I'm at, at 58 is I actually spent or actually like spent because <laughs> I've been um trying to make I've been trying to make like really uh <laughs> I've been trying to your boy Avquish been trying to get him some better some better stuff. 
So it, it was actually higher than this, especially the crystals. I've been like playing around with the crystals. So it's actually been, been very exciting. Another thing, because of this, you're actually able to farm the synth crystals. What I'm going to say about the synth crystals is, at this point, if you start hitting, getting into the 600s, 700s, you need to start spending this on like trying to make your material better. It works slightly, but it's better than like you just rolling the die without any help. So it is good to farm here so you can get the most out of this. Just my advice to help you out. Farm like crazy because this six days is going to be six days of intense grinding for me. There's some there's some elements that I'm really, really weak in. Like ice, I can never seem to get anything good in ice. And I can never seem to get anything good in wind. So I'll be in these two. I spent like, I, I ran this like seven or eight times already. And I ran ice seven or eight times. So I'll probably do this again. But anyways, if you like my content, hit the like, share, subscribe button. I'll get back to you. Have a great day and goodbye.